everyone and welcome to my channel so this is going to be a reading for the collectives this is going to be for your sun moon rising and venus signs the cards are just flying out of the deck before i could get finished talking so okay so these are going to be messages from april 25th to april 30th all right so let's just jump in since your cards are flying out of the deck we have the two of pentacles and we have the three of wands some of you are waiting I feel like you're waiting for someone to contact you with the three of wands and the two of pentacles. You're not sure, though, how you feel about this person anymore, or maybe they're not sure how they feel about you. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So let's see where this goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something is stuck here. Something's not moving forward. Something happened between you and your person. And you feel like the energy is stuck. We have the hangman, which is Pisces energy. So some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. Or you just feel like something's not moving forward. Or you don't know how to move this forward. Whatever happened, I feel like there was a tower moment. Between some of you. And you're confused on what you have with this person anymore. I feel like at one point you knew. But now you just feel like I have no clue what the hell is going on. Spirit with messages. Yes, for the collective. Seven of Wands. You're very guarded. This person said something or did something to you that you did not like. You could be waiting for an apology with the way the cards are coming out here. Or maybe you just don't want to talk to this person at all right now. So what messages do you have? Okay, something fell on the floor. Give me one second. Oh, yeah. You guys got the world card. So you may see something as being over. It's like you. I don't feel like you want this to be over, though. I feel like you still want this person, but you're just confused on what happened. I feel like something happened out of the blue. It's like things were good, and then all of a sudden, things just went really, really bad, and you feel like you have no clue why it happened. With the world card here, some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. All right, so we have the Ten of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. For some of you, I feel like your person has a lot of burdens on them that they're not telling you about. And with the Six of Pentacles energy, I feel like they're given to more than one person. I don't feel like there's an equal give and take here. I feel like they're being pulled in different directions, possibly from you and a third party. Spirit, so what messages do you have? What messages do you have? For the collectors. I just feel like there's something that this person is not telling you. Yeah, high priestess. The universe is saying trust your intuition with the situation. I feel like some of you actually, you're, it's like you know more than you think you know and you're not trusting it. It's like you're confused about it and you're like, well, is this really what's happening here? Or should I just trust in what they're telling me? Because I feel like, um, Something is happening behind the scenes with your person. It's like they're going through something with someone that they're that they live with, or something's happening here, and you just feel like they're not being honest with you with this high priestess card. Like something's being kept a secret here, yeah, and you're ready to walk away. It's either you walked away from them or they walked away from you, and you're like, I don't know if I should bring this back together or just let it go. Like I said, I don't feel like you're happy about it though. Some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. And I don't feel like you want to let go of this person. I feel like this is actually the love of your life, but you're like, I can't, I don't know how to connect with this person. I don't know how to reach them. So we do have the page of wands. So I do see that you're going to get a message from this person, or maybe you did already, and you're still confused about what it is that you have with them. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages? Some of you could be dealing with a younger fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you feel like this person is very immature with this page of wands energy. We also have the two of wands. Yeah, your person needs to make a decision about something and they're not telling you. That's exactly what this is. Spare, so what messages do you have? It's like they don't know which way to go with this. I do feel like you and this person have a connection, one that they don't want to let go of, that's full of lust and passion and chemistry with the devil card. But sometimes you may feel like this person is toxic and you don't understand why they're toxic with you. Maybe you could be dealing with the Capricorn here. I don't know if I said that already, but if I didn't, 
the devil is here. So that's Capricorn energy, major arcana. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectives? Yeah, we have the moon. Pisces energy or someone is being very secretive. They're being very... I feel like this person does want you, though. If you're walking away from them... I feel like this person wants to be with you. They do. But they're keeping secrets and they feel like there's something that they can't tell you. I feel like sometimes they think about the situation and they want to open up and tell you about it. But they feel like you won't understand or this person is embarrassed about what they have to tell you. Are they? It's like you may not even see this as being an embarrassing situation. But they may. So it's like they don't want to tell you about it. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectors? Yeah, three of pentacles, the nine of wands, and the four of pentacles. Your person, oh my goodness, what in the hell? <laughs> Your person is guarded, but they're still hanging on to you. It's like they want to make this work. I do see them coming back around to compromise with you with this three of pentacles and trying to make something work here. But they're also going to be very guarded because this person doesn't know what they can have with you and what they can't. I feel like your person got caught. I don't know why I'm channeling like somebody got caught like um doing something maybe their person like someone they live with or something saw like messages from someone else or possibly messages from you and it's like they feel like they have to keep whatever they have intact because it could be children involved a family situation maybe there's a lot of history but also they have history with you as well so i feel like this person is just in a tough spot right now whoever you guys are dealing with is in a tough spot But I feel like whenever you ask them what's going on, it's like they don't want to tell you the full story. It's like they give you bits and pieces. Spirit, what messages do you have? Yeah, the three of swords. This person is heartbroken. I feel like they're heartbroken because they can't be with you. I actually feel like both of you guys are heartbroken. Um, but you're not telling each other that you're heartbroken. You are, but you're not saying anything. Um, I feel like you're disappointed in this person. Because you thought you guys had more. Or you thought this was going to last forever. But now you're starting to see that something is falling apart and you don't know how to fix it. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. So what messages do you have? The Queen of Cups. There's a lot of emotions here. The Ace of Wands. There's a lot of emotions and a lot of passion that your person has for you. I feel like they, they don't know how to talk to you. We have the two of swords. Oh, they need to make a decision between you and another person. You know what I'm also picking up on? Your person stays with this, with this third party out of convenience. It's like if they could move forward, they would. But maybe they're not financially stable. Or maybe they feel like if they do move away from the situation that they'll be hurting this person because this person was there for them when no one else was. And so maybe when they were at their hardest times, somebody was there for them. And they don't feel comfortable giving up on that situation. But I feel like whoever they're with, it's like they don't love them the way you do. There's something about maybe like the sex is not what they want it to be because the Ace of Wands is here. I also feel like with the Two of Swords, they're not telling this person how they truly feel. Like maybe if the sex isn't good or they don't have sex as much as they want to, you know, they're, something's missing in that connection. And I feel like whatever is missing, they may get that from you. And so they don't want to give up on you, but then they don't want to give up on this other situation. So I feel like they don't know what to do here. But there's a lot of passion and a lot of chemistry between you and your person. And I feel like you make this person's day and vice versa. You have four of swords. They're healing from something and they want to come towards you and offer you love, but they don't know when the time is right. Like, how should they do it? I feel like whatever happened between the two of you, whether it was an argument or a fight, um, hopefully not physically, but, you know, everybody's situation is different. But whatever it was for you, I feel like you two don't know how to come back together. I feel like you want to, you think about each other, but you don't know how to, how to do this. But I do see messages coming towards you with the Page of Cups. 
All right, we also have the Five of Swords. So someone is holding back. Um, they could be being manipulative or being petty, but still confused. Five of Swords, Eight of Swords. I feel like this person sort of wants you to reach out to them so they'll know that you still want them, even though they may have been the one who, like, did something to you. It's like, I don't know if this person is looking for an apology from you or what. Or there's just um, a misunderstanding or there's a lot of confusion here. Because with the Five of Swords, this person wants to win. They feel like they should win. They feel like they should... Um, it's like they feel like you owe them something. Or maybe this person doesn't... You could be dealing with someone like this who... It's sort of hard for them to talk about... Or um, not talk about, it's sort of hard for them to apologize when they make a mistake. This person's not used to apologizing or um, they're not used to seeing their fault. That's what I see here with the Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords. It's like they will think about something that happened and be like, you know what? Was I wrong? I don't think I was wrong. It's like the Five of Swords energy is telling them that they're not wrong. And then the Eight of Swords energy is telling them like, well, maybe I was wrong. I don't know. It's like they second guess it. So it's like this person doesn't know if they should apologize to you or if you should apologize to them. And if they've apologized already, they may feel like, well, it wasn't good enough. And the only way that they can come back into your um, into your life or come back around you or talk to you again is if they apologize again. But it's like this person is not wanting to. It's something with their pride and ego here as well that I'm seeing with this five of swords and this two of swords. It's like they're not comfortable with letting you go at all and so i don't see it happening because the four of pentacles is here so this person is either hanging on to their money because their financial situation is screwed up or they're hanging on to this connection with you because they don't want to let you go or it could be all of the above all right so let's get some message cards and let's see what else the universe has to say about you and your person what messages do you have for the collectives? What messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know about this situation? Somebody is being stubborn here because my deck is sticking. And these cards are like really glossy and waxy, so they never stick. Stalemate. I just said somebody's being stubborn here. No further progress or action. Self-imposed restrictions. Feeling stuck. They don't know how to connect with you. Because, see, they're used to connecting with you in a different way. And now since you guys have this argument or you've been going through some things, they don't know how to reach you. They're, they're feeling like, like, how should I reach out to him or her? We have nights out. Late or last minute cancellation, up to no good with third party, working long hours. So this person could be working long hours or they could be taking time away from you to spend with a third party. And they're not telling you about it and they don't want to tell you about it. Spirit with messages. Okay. So we have the heart leads. Following their heart, choosing to be happy, no longer hiding their feelings. So this person is going to come towards you and talk. It's like they don't want to hide their feelings anymore. Yeah, they feel like you're going to walk away. Leaving someone behind. Ending a love triangle. Tired of the emotional mess. So what messages do you have for the collectors? All right, so someone feels like you're playing hard to get. They feel like you're rejecting them on purpose. Um, you're not settling for less. And you're you're just like not... Whatever this person put you through, you feel like you deserve more. I feel like um a lot of you, you gave a lot of love to whoever this is. Okay. A lot of love to them. You may have loved them like, you know, like you've never loved anyone else. And this person, I don't feel like they know that. Yeah. Some of you are madly in love with your person and they're madly in love with you, but you guys aren't telling each other because you're sort of mad right now. Either they're mad at you, you're mad at them, or both of you are mad at each other. We have lost in love. Their world revolves around you. Hard to control themselves. Here, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for the collectives? All right, we have ladies, man. Playing the field, not serious about anyone, not ready for commitment. I feel like this is what this person's used to doing. This is the energy that they're in, but they feel like being in this energy may have caused them to lose you. Here, what messages do you have for the collectives? All right, so we have worth waiting for. Be patient. Things will get better. 
long waiting period, rewards after perseverance, and then we also have love bond. They still love their person, not leaving them for you. Now, no real issues in their union. Yeah, for some of you, this is how your person feels. Okay, they don't have any real issues, right? Well, they have issues. I feel like they do have issues, but they're they're saying, well, it's not worth giving up this connection on because this person has always been there for them. But I feel like there's something that they're not getting from this person that they found in you or that they see in you. So we have be patient. Things will get better. Long waiting period. Rewards after perseverance. All right. Let's see what else the universe has to say before we close out your reading. Spirit, what messages? All right. This card. Just right on the floor. Give me one second. This card just flew under the table. Okay. So we have children. Children involved. Using child as a pawn. Staying for the kids. Yeah, your person may be staying in a connection because they're children. Um, or someone may bring that up whenever they talk about leaving. They may be like, what are we going to do about the kids? Like, are you just going to leave your, your, your child like that? Are you just going to leave the kids like that? Like, you don't care about us? And I feel like they make this person feel guilty from wanting to walk away. But I feel like somebody wants to be with you like really bad. They love you, but they just don't feel comfortable walking away from this situation. Yeah, I'm telling you, we have passion, lustful desires, sexual chemistry. They crave you. I think this person think about you at night when they're laying in bed with this other person. It's like they could be laying right next to them and thinking about you. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectors? We have old school, old fashioned thinking, takes dating seriously, takes things slowly. So some of you could be dealing with someone who's a little older than you um, and they're like old fashioned in their ways. So what messages do you have for the collectives? What messages do you have for the collectives? Love activation. I'm telling you, this person cannot stop thinking about you. Awakening, heart space opening, twin flame ascension. This is what you do to them. But I feel like this is what they do to you as well. So they know the connection that you guys have together. But there is a third party that is causing a blockage between the two of you. And I feel like they're afraid to walk away from that situation. Yep. I'm telling you, we cannot make this shit up. <laughs> third party. Like, this is how they feel about you. This is how they feel about you, but here's the blockage. Love triangle. Something is interfering. Competition and enemy. So what messages do you have for the collectives? What messages do you have for the collectives? We have spotlight, high profile relationship, power couple, people envy the connection. Yeah, see, this is how they look to people, right? Your person and that third party, this is how people see them. But I feel like they have so many issues and problems behind the scenes that people don't see. So it's like this is the it's like this is the profile that they try to keep up. And they don't want other people to know, like their friends and family. They don't want them to know what they're going through behind the scenes. They could be in something extremely toxic here. I feel like they, they're they not happy in this situation. Yes, we have plastic, surface level relationship, fake love messages, not a real love connection. They're in this because of something that they're getting out of it, not because they really want to be there. It's like, I feel like this person really wants to be with you. All right, so let's get one more. And then we're going to pull some final message cards. So what messages do you have for the collectives? You're going to hear from this person. They're not going to be able to keep, like, stay away from you. We have jealousy, want you to themselves, attachment, fear of losing you. Yeah, this person is fearing losing you. And there's some sort of jealous energy about them, like... You know, I feel like um, this person spies on you. It sort of looks at like your social media and things like that. We also have hot and cold, sends mixed signals, inconsistency, inscrutable and lack of clarity. It's like right when you feel like you know 
what's going on with your person. It's like they shock you and they do something different and it pisses you off even more because you're like, okay, um, I don't feel like we're ever going to come back together or we're ever going to fix this because, you know, this it just seems like things can't get right between you and them. So we're going to pull some final messages before we close out your reading and see what else the universe wants you to know. What messages do you have for the collectives? What final messages? What final messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know about their person? Spare, what messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know about their person and their situation? Oh, okay. So we have their ego issues is what's keeping them from calling you. They think about you night and day. We also have my financial situation is not stable enough for me to walk away from them. Why did I just read that? Like I was hooked on phonics. <laughs> my financial situation is not stable enough for me to walk away from them. And I'm afraid to tell you this. All we do is argue when all I want to do is love you, but you keep bringing up the past. Will you ever be able to get over what I did so we can move forward? So this is what your person is feeling and thinking. I thought I needed closure, but what I need is you back in my life. If I reach out to you, please don't ignore me. You are both being stubborn, but wanting to text each other. You're thinking holding back will make them act right. So it's like you're thinking like, you know what? If I hold back from this person, maybe we can fix the situation. Maybe they'll realize how much they love me and care about me. I love it when you wear your glasses and put your hair in a messy bun. It looks good on you. So some of you guys wear glasses and you pull your hair up in a ponytail and they love that about you. They will call you in a couple of days. They're losing sleep because they know what they did was wrong and you didn't deserve it. We also have, I'm sorry I cheated on you. Honestly, you mean the world to me. And I don't even know why I did it. I'm sorry. Please accept my apology. Are you going to leave this third party or not? I'm tired of waiting and trying to be patient. This person is married, but wish they wasn't so they could be with you. If you can hang on and let me figure this out, I promise you I will fix this and we will be together. Just have faith in us, please. And then we have, they don't turn me on like you do. You always look sexy. I love the way you dress. Their baby mama it, drama is the reason for your arguments and he's not doing much to fix the issue. And then we have, my body is at home with this karmic, but my mind and heart is with you, my soulmate. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Christ Never Lied Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.